Hi, my name is Iqbal Khan and I'm directing Antony and Cleopatra as part of the RSC Rome season. Antony and Cleopatra begins about two terms after the events in Julius Caesar. It starts in Egypt and it starts with Marcus Antonius, Mark Antony, the greatest soldier in the world and, and one of the three leaders of the Roman Empire, having the scandalous affair with Cleopatra. The first phase of the play ends with Antony having to leave Egypt because of a potential civil war. Pompey the Younger, son of Gold Pompey, is threatening the shores of Rome and so he has to leave. He also learns that his wife is dead so he is now a single man with, uh, with all that that might promise for Cleopatra as he leaves. We cut to Rome. Uh, Rome begins as a complacent place but very quickly gears up towards war because they learn that their people are turning towards Pompey and they have to do something about this. They don't have Antony to rely on because as far as they're concerned Antony's having a great time drinking and doing whatever else in Egypt, uh, and so they can't rely on this great soldier. Octavius Caesar declares war on Egypt. Mark Antony decides unwisely to fight by sea. He loses the battle. Antony's forces desert, following the fleeing ships of Egypt's queen, Cleopatra. He is shamed by this and learns of a secret peace that is being negotiated between Cleopatra and Caesar. He flies into a rage. Antony declares another war, which he loses. His greatest friend, his general Inobarbus, abandons him, takes his own life in despair. Antony, thinking that Cleopatra has betrayed him, decides to take her life. She flees to the monument and has a messenger go to him and tell him that she has taken her life to see how he takes it. On hearing this, he despairs and attempts to take his own life. At that moment, a second messenger from Cleopatra arrives to tell him that that she's, she's not dead. He asks to be taken to her monument. They say a simple farewell to each other. Cleopatra, in trying to avoid being captured by Caesar, then arranges to have her own life taken by having a basket full of figs with two asps secreted in them brought to her and she ensures that she frustrates Caesar's attempts to use her as a part of his triumph.